Good morning, ladies. My name is Chaz, and welcome to the What If I Was in One Punch Man? Basically, so uh, my the thing, my character is pretty powerful. So, he used to be a monster that used to be like, or actually the king of monsters respects him as royal servant. But then the, he died of a, from a hero and that broke Diaz. D O slash S his heart because she loved my character and this character is different from like seven deadly sins and because his usual name is Dead Eyes Chaz. So, yeah. Dead Eyes Chaz has, like, what you think. He can outbeat everyone. But when he got reborn as a human, like that, he joined the hero thing and yeah he was the S class hero or he's above the S class hero like he can when you really think about it it would be like passing everybody like Saitama Bang and all of the S class. So, yeah. The only person that really d doesn't get in or is like friends with him, that's actually like between. A certain girl, not her, but, but she, he's that girl, yeah, was dating him in his human form, but at the monsters thing, she didn't not realize that him and Ken Come right back to life. Kind of like Zombie Boy. Or where that Zombie Man is. But. Redman can regenerate. His entire part. Or. Okay. So yeah. Then. Hmm. He was doing the missions. A lot of missions with. Her sister, as he says, huh, uh, leave this one to me, okay? As she says, hey, he's mine. In, in, hmm. Well, I know that you usually work alone, but as everyone knows them as the overpowered characters, Saitama and Hanman are both best friends. So, yeah. 
he stopped a bullet and he became the S class before. Er. So yeah, it's it's simple and canon, but that eyes trans can kill anything with his blade or his gun that's in his pocket. So yeah, he's pretty powerful. And when the monster organization thing came, of course, she was good, or she, when she sent her men to get, like, try to restrain that girl, but they ended up betraying her because of that web thing. But she says, only one boy. That really, as she says, my boyfriend, dead eye chairs. As, as she calls him, and who, oh, of course, he, she doesn't like see because her boyfriend's name used to be called. Um, Angry Chen. That's what his used to be named. Because she always named him. You're always so angry with. That's why I call you Angry Chen. So when she. He's like. Huh. Well. I hope that you're. Boyfriend mm, comes quick before I whip you uh, around. As Chedman comes, um, as he says, huh, I came, huh, as he was wearing that mask thing, but she could see into his eyes. Of she knows who Chen Man really is. When she saw in his eyes of how cruel he is, she recognizes it. She recognizes him as one of her favorite. Or she only had one boyfriend. That was angry to us, so she, she says, or she's smooth talking, uh, hucking with him, like, huh, what's your real name, or, or actually she knows who he is. But when she saw, heard, or when she thought that because her, she was like trying to be that person. Person? So, yeah. She says, how do they know each other's? As, yeah. He says, huh, it has been a long time since I last seen you, but this might end for you badly. So, yeah, she says, huh, sorry, I'm turning up my volume so that the, I'm sure you have it on, and don't worry, there's no, like, banshee screams so, yeah. Zuku. Ooh. Or actually, from far away, 
on the other side, there's a snake girl. She can detect her friend's aura. As she says, what's this? As he, or as she, her, her eyes lit up when she knew that her friend was not dead. So, or let's change that. Her brother, that's what I'll say. Her brother is still alive. So she's basically slithering away from the brainy kid. And the, where is he, where is he, where is he? The one with the, oh, I see him. That little kid right there. So, yeah. When he says, or actually at the end says, says, well, how would you betray us? <laughs> As then she remembers that the pro hero flashbang killed him and then the when he formed the of course then she remember or then she sees her like oh I see you got recruited or you got forced to join the heroes agencies. Hmm. Well, I won't kill you because I still... Of course, she says I still have a heart for, you know, Chaz. Or, angry Chaz. As she... Didn't rem or she didn't like get notified because her boyfriend and that girl or or that girl always called him angry Chaz, so he always gets so angry. Yeah. So yeah. And then that snake girl shows up as she says, Brother, I'm thinking as you have revived. And what's with that new costume? As he says, Well, I'm a pro hero. S class. Uh, and my new name is. Dead Eyes Chaz. That's what the pro heroes like, or heroes agency gave me. As they, he looks at the, those boys, and I see, or he says, I see that you were trying to force them to fall in love with you, because as he's trying to not cry, but she can sense that he's going to cry. Because she, she literally walked up to him and gave him a hug. Because, and she says, don't worry. I always, of course, she says that she does care about his love because she and him 
had really deep love. So deep that even even they wanted to. So, yeah. That's what they wanted. Or that's what she told him. That they're just mindless slaves. Nothing to me. So I'm glad that you're back uh, in our in my arms. Heck yeah. Uh, and you're back. Huh? I'm happy that of course they were so glad that but then the Ice Tornado uses her powers to conjure up a building and through it. But Dead Eyes sliced the buildings into bacon bits. Yeah. Small. As, yeah. So did the Monster King worry about me, by the way? As he says, or actually she says, yeah. We're after you died. And so some of us were like, are really angry at humans. And... Of course, she says, and it's not your fault. She says, it's not your fault, brother. It's these humans. It's confidence that got me killed. And he, like, gets so angry, he literally... Holds both of his arms as he cracks the entire planet in half. Because how angry he is. And the Monster King knows who can, who's the one that's responsible. He's back. I'm glad. He didn't fail us. As... Monster King respects him as a monster. So, yeah. The eyeball guy, that one that's a pink blob one, that's right next to Kid, was as says, yay. Because he had respect for him, too. I'm glad that you're back. Eh. Or angry Chaz. Yeah. But these humans hence call me dead eyes, Chaz. That's probably a upgraded name. Don't you think? Yeah, that's pretty good name, actually. One look, boom, you're dead. <laughs> so, yeah. And then... Actually, that kid... And shows up. As he says, huh... Of course, here's a weird shipment that I just thought about. The snake girl looks like Medusa thing. And that kid head. Imagine that. Like, imagine a ship between... I said ship. S H I P M between them 
as yeah I had one in my head that was like had what if a snake girl went and got married to that young kid yeah I'm talking about her getting married to this young smart kid that is a S class hero. Yeah. So let's continue. So yeah. They brought Henman back and he says I'm sorry for no need to apologize. As a monster king, I know it was not your fault. You, you don't, you didn't underestimate your opponent. But they decided to overpower you. Yeah. So yeah, she he says, I'm glad that you're you're back. As she's been waiting for to get married to him. As, yeah, she ends up getting, of course, the Monster King in agrees that he, and weird part is, Because he remembers his old past life thing. Or the kid asked him, how did it feel to be in a monster corporation thing? Well, at first it was... It's good to... Because I was born as a monster, so yeah... And man, my if if I had to make a bed, probably. And how old are you? About seven or eight years old. Or well, my sister can. There's a monster nation thing. There's only one r rule. Okay. Of course, the monster, or he says, if she probably wants to date you and get married to you, even. But I'm allowing it. So, yeah. Then, because when they had their counter thing, her eyes went from being like that to being more like hearts thing like imagine her mm -hmm. eyes being having hearts to a child yeah and no I'm not trying to be Weird ships kind. No. They are more of the. If you want to see a weird ship, that's okay. The. Ultra Saitama with. Flippin'. And. Where is. Yeah, ship with both of those two. Not the samurai, but two green girls that you see before you. Those two and Saitama to make like the unkillable child thing. Yeah, 
So, now, oh, it's time. So, yeah. Z huh. You must be Chad Menz's, or you must be the Dead Eye Chaz's, his sister that I heard. And she, she says, huh, I don't know who that is, but if he tells, of course, because my character, then after, of course, he actually told her, or he told his sister, that we, or that's okay to date his, or date him, that little kid, and get married to him. Yeah. So, yeah. She ends up, and right after the, or like after the wedding thing between my character and her, she always likes him when he fixes her hair, when she had a, like bad hair days. Yeah. So, yeah, she, got the, or she, because my character, her monster form, can take different, or, like, makes different powers, so, yeah, his dead eyes, Slash thing, and then mixed with her, like, whip thing, yeah, could cause even people to ship with themselves. I cut, I said ship, like in, I ship Toga, or no, I meant Toga with Zuku, kind Because probably tomorrow I'll technically would be today, but I haven't gone to bed. So, yeah. Zuku and before, I'm kind of running out of ideas. So, that's why I wanted all of you to... Like, leave a comment below of who do you want to see next time. So, yeah. So, the kid was, kind of looked like that kid right there. The one with a... Not a one that has a spear. No, no, no. That. Or actually, it was that one. So, yeah. He came. The kid was so powerful that even the monsters corporation it was taking care of that monster when they they only send ten men to do all the heavy lifting and stuff and get his hands dirty so yeah but there's one thing the hero corporation decided to clone ten men Yeah, and call it the clone um, Chaz. So, yeah. He 
So, yeah, name all that monster stuff, and so it's just weird stuff, and it's similar to canon, but Kingman or Dead Eye Chan always protects his like his sister or his sister, his wife, and their child, and everybody, but. He's, or he was visiting, or catching up on old times. So, he says, I know I'm not leaving the Monster Corporation, but, as a, of course, this is, he says, as a new father that I am, I don't think that we need to raise him like a monster. As Monster King understands, if you want to find a place, I'm okay with that, okay? Just, okay? As, yeah, her... And, like, she got told if, of course, she knows that he's more worried about her and their child. It was unborn thing. So, yeah. And so there, or his sister says, okay, where can we pick a place? Hmm. Somewhere out of town or somewhere. Okay. But as he's banging on his head on the head, trying to think of away from... City Z, or like away from them. And we need, if there's ever floods, there has to be like a boat um, thing. Yeah. So they went on to, they traveled to, um, well, far away from there. But they still contact. So, yeah. As he still has the, or actually, Hinman still has the piece of him so that the, if, if something bad happens to him, He'll re get reforms, but smaller version of him. Um, okay. As, yeah. And, yeah. They were trying to act like humans. Like they are trying to train. Of course, they went to a doctor's and... First, they got to have some fresh clothes for them. And, yeah. Of course, they were trying to figure out where Tenman or Dead Eyes original home oh, has is so yeah they're they went to a America thing as yeah they or he or guess who actually confronts him 
was her. So she's like, you're such an idiot. The, you're the monster. I know that as huh, as he's worried about his wife but he turns around and makes sure that his of course his wife was in like as she looks and she sees it and then as yeah she says did you you had did you sleep with her so she, so she says or actually my character says yeah and she's my wife so if you get any any, any ideas it's no trying to hurt her I will make sure that you're the only one or make sure that you're the first one to go. As yeah, so so he's like looking around. Or his sister, sister was says, "Go ahead, I'll be a pro hero, okay? And don't worry about us." We'll, we'll make sure that they he found um, thing or learns, okay? So yeah. Zuku was or Chenman was like, okay. As she Tell or like she like grabs him or actually he walks to her and kisses her and says I'll be right back okay as she says I know so as the piece of Monster Kings and was set beside her or away from her so that the so yeah as he flies around and they weren't the only ones and there's only like, of course, there's a, uh, who will it be, who will it be, who will it be? I was going to say the, yeah, bird guy in his human form thing, like in that bird costume, he says that. We'll, we'll make sure that he doesn't like or he flies all the way as yeah of course she he is like huh don't worry, I'll make sure that you don't die on me, okay? Huh. Well, that's okay. And it was against him. As he says, huh. Or actually, between him and Chenman, he knows that Chenman... And he wants to live for his town, so 
whatever his name is, I forgot his name already. He says, huh, don't worry, I'll make sure that your son remembers you by. Hmm. Well, as he, like, comes in full swing and, like, hits him, and, like, he literally, or Chenman became a literal monster of hate. So, like, he literally pulled him to pieces. Like, straight down the middle of his entire body. Not even the buff guy could even dent him or... Saitama could even punch right through. As he says, as it was at Ocean Shores, by the way, the, their house thing. Or most like, sir. So, yeah, they're used to, as they're like, huh, why did you pick that place, huh, well, a little less crowded, but it would be country thing, okay, as he says, yeah. That's why. And she says, all right. Of course, the... S <laughs> so, yeah, they did that, and they went to the hospital to, for her to give birth thing. So, yeah. It was a beautiful town. It looked like him, not the flippin' Cyclops up there, but the black hair spiky one. If I had a... Hold on. Later. Mm. Oh, shit. Hmm. I'm trying to look. So, the, uh, that guy, the one that has, like, that weird mark thing, yeah, he has similar things to, he has kindness and, like, but his name is Crystal. And you know it's hilarious in that in this what if I'm actually the real me is actually in it too. There's a copied one. So Crystal met the real version of me. Eh? And we became friends and yeah. So, and the snake girl, actually, before, that snake girl got married to that kid. Yeah. And she knows that her brother will always help her out with anything. So, yeah. 
So this is the end of the video, uh, or end of the what if. So now it's what the heck time. So yeah, or I should just do take your comments. Uh, like these things like so who do you want to see next would it be what if Zuku was cyber dragon or cyber end dragon or Godzilla reincarnation thing so yeah Or should I do a video of talking about, or like do the what if Zuku was the son of Bakugo's mom, <laughs> um, like that girl. Or, like, Bakugo and Juku switches places. Kind. And... Or... It's basically all about Zuku. And... Or something else. Like, I could just turn him into what if... Um, Zuku was... Equinox, or... Turn him into like Flippin' Raven from Teen Titans. Or like, yeah. Or make her, him date her. Because that would have been is hilarious. It's what you want. I'm listen. I'm all ears. So, and every you do, don't do something cursed. Like, how about make a what if Zuku was cookie cutter? It's those fish things. Things. Or let's do what if, what if Zuku was this? Or this or or anything that's not or that is cursed one. But it's just who do you want me to use for Zuku. For me, I would just use him as when if Zuku was in Seven Deadly Sins, that will be probably tomorrow. Or the next day. Or at some point. So, yeah. Now, I already did custom cards. And Ghost of a Chance is pretty powerful. Oh, well, card. Like, you can randomly s select cards from your deck to add to your hand. And then you can summon monsters multiple times like that. Like, if there was three of these, you can... I know it once per turn. So, yeah. Zuku is... Er, actually, my cards are pretty powerful. Like, heck. The... 
fossil zombie of darkness. It's a the basically summons like it's basically like Monster Reborn. But if to your healed and attack mode, but their defenses become zero till four turns are up. And then this card attacks three times for each card from your field. Or once per turn. Or once per battle. This card can't be destroyed by battle. And this card is sent to the grave. You can add one fossil fusion. And two cards from your graveyard or banish zone to your field. And then this card is sent to your extra deck from your graveyard. After two turns are up. So this one and basically brings out like withering soldier or like cyber dragons or like some other creatures out without any hesitation. So yeah. Or I like this one. Called anti spiders duologues of coolness. This one is. I got the idea from the duologues. So huge shout outs to him. Because he's the. He's my favorite person in the world. That's why I put a little planet on Earth. With a thumbs up button on it. So, let's begin with this one. When this card is normal, summon or special summon, you can select two cards from your deck or graveyard or banish them to your hand. Once per turn, you can increase the level of one face-up monster you control by four. Until the end of, or until the end phase. If this card is used for, like, Ritual, Fusion, XYZ, I don't believe anyone uses the Rituals anymore. Like, XYZ, I see, like, a lot of Fusion, Synchros, and XYZ, and Link Summons. A lot more than rituals. So, with a monster or monsters, and it gains this effect for once per turn. This card can't be destroyed by battle or by card effects that does or do not target anything. And this card gains 1000 attack, depends, depends for each draw phase. And this card attacks three times per battle. This card is sent to a grave. You can and draw four cards from your deck. And you gain 4,000 life points. And, and then this card is special summoned from your graveyard. Or banished on to your field. In a defense mode. So basically... You see oh, what's a resemblance thing. Basically, if you use like Stardust Dragon, or like to bring out Stardust, or not Stardust Dragon, the, who would be popular cards to use? Uh, well, I know that probably something like a fossil fossils, like or like something. Like this one. And or wait, hold on. This one. And 
And, yeah. So, one, two, three, four, five, eight. So, yeah. The, if like this, mixed with dual logs, would be probably, it would un be unaffected by everything. And it doesn't go to a graveyard and it gains like whopping nine 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 thousand attack for each draw phase or one hundred. So and the I like this trap card because it's it's something about good gas thing. Thing. It's supposed to be like a counter trap to um, I'm trying to remember what this trap card was. It was there was a trap card that's like something to do with thing. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh, wait, I remember. It was like good or bad try thing or some trap card. So, let's look it up. Well, I can't find it, so... It was a trap card that was in good or bad, I think. But I'm trying to remember the trap card's name. So, this card mirrors that. So, I think it was... Is it, but... Tell me in the comments of what the name of it, if you look it up. So, if your opponent activates a card effect, you and you can activate this card from your healed or hand to allow your opponent must guess two cards from your deck without looking into it, and if they guess right. You discard those two cards that you picked from your deck to the grave. And your opponent gains 4,000 life points for each card from your graveyard by this effect. But if they guess wrong, you add those two cards from your that of your choice from your deck to your hand. Then your opponent loses four thousand life points. And then both players draw four cards from top of their own decks. You can only use this effect for once per turn. And if this card is sent to the grave and your opponent's once your declares an attack on your life points, you can banish this card from your graveyard to negate that attack. Negate the effect thing. It's supposed to be it says attack, but I'm I was tired, so yeah. And end their turn. So yeah. So it's. And Volcanic Doom Lord of Flames is basically a little bit better version of, like, all of them. Because he actually does, does help the, like, multi-shot thing. Like, Blaster, I think. 
Blaze Accelerator. Or like, or try Blazer Accelerator. Or the Try Blazer Reloader thing. Whatever that, that trap card is. This card can allow, like, inflict 1500 damage to your opponent. If, if you do, add one volcanic shell or scatter shot from your deck or graveyard or banner zone to your hand. And if you have the those on the field or in the graveyard, you can pay 1,000 life points to make this card's attack become 9,000 points until the end of your 10 turns. Yeah. So basically, or, and if this card is sent to the grave or banner zone, you can inflict 300 points damage to your opponent and select points. If you do add one Doom Fire and two Blaze Accelerator spells slash trap cards from your deck. Or greater to or banish them to your field for once per turn. So yeah, this card can it's like just like a heat thing. Like it like lights up, boom. Or you light it up now. Shield is like it's meant for like Negate shield thing. So this one negates like spell cards that do inflict damage to the opponent or to yourself. You can return this card to the deck and shuffle it and then draw four cards. But if you have a volcanic shell or Volcanic counter in your hand, then inflict 200 damage to your opponent's high points. So basically, these two would be powerhouses. This one basically gives your monsters the great boost of can't be destroyed. And also like damage to your opponent's life points equal to the number of cards in the your graveyard times 500. You can only use this effect for once per turn. If this card is sent to a grave, both players take 1,000 damage. Or each volcanic monster in your graveyard. So... Basically, like, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, and you activate this card during that an activation thing. Then you don't take damage, but your opponent takes a lot of damage. And then this one is crazy. It's just absolutely bonkers. Let's go through it real quick because I'm getting tired. So, when this card is activated, you can select or add two volcanic cards from your deck or graveyard or banner zone to your hand. And if you have a Blaze Accelerator or Blaze Tri Blazer Accelerator on the field or in the graveyard or in the hand. And then you can special summon three volcanic monsters from your rear or banner zone or deck or hand to your field and attack them out for once per turn. Or once per turn. If this card is sent to grave, you can inflict 1,000 damage to your opponent's life points for each volcanic monster in or from your field. And graveyard 
Command this on. So, yeah. Then, all of that. Is that done? And, yeah. So, yeah. Tomorrow, I'll probably do the what if I was in this. Or do... Something in playing. I don't know, but I'll try to figure it out. But that's why I need you to comment down below. Okay? Promise?